Hello, my name is Adrian Richards. I'm a plastic and cosmetic surgeon and the surgical director of Aurora Clinics, which is based here in the United Kingdom. In this short video, I thought I'd just give you a short update on the uh, press articles which have come out today on the new superbug, which is uh, said to be antibiotic resistance. So the, uh, today is the day of filming, this is the day the Lancet article has come out about this uh, new uh, drug and it's the 11th of August 2010. Now this uh, article came out in the Lancet which is a medical uh, journal and basically it talks about this um, new type of bacteria which is called the New Delhi Metallo um, 1 um, bacteria. Now, the reason it's called the New Delhi um, uh, bacteria is because it originates in India. And uh, to date, over 50 cases of uh, this um, bug, uh, of, of infections caused by this bacteria, have been noted uh, really in England. And in over half of those cases, the people who were infected had come from the Indian subcontinent, um, and some of them had, had operations in India or Pakistan, um, such as plastic surgical operations, you know, uh, tram, um, uh, uh, cancer treatments and um, transplants. Um, so in most cases there was some um, uh, you know, link really back to the Indian subcontinent which um, is you know, where they got the uh, bug from. So the first thing is how widespread is this bug? Well thankfully not very in England but in uh, uh, um, the Indian subcontinent India, Bangladesh and Pakistan, a number of cases have been uh, found. There have also been some cases found in the Netherlands, Australia and America. But in England to date, uh, about 50, just over 50 cases, and none of them have been very serious. So no one's really had a, a very significant medical uh, problem from the bug. Now, why is it different from other zebra bugs? The other, other bugs which you've probably heard of, uh, the most be best known one is called MRSA, which is the methicillin, which is a type of antibiotic, resistant Staph aureus. So this is the one we've been talking about for years, really, in English hospitals. Um, and the reason this came to our attention is because it was re resistant to most antibiotics, but there were a group of antibiotics called carbipenems, which you could use to treat MRSA. So MRSA, we do have an uh, uh, antibiotic to treat it. The problem with this new drug, um, the new, new Delhi, the NDM1 um, uh, bacteria, is we don't really have an uh, antibiotic which is effective for treating it. So that's the problem. So you know, in the early part of the century, before antibiotics were uh, invented, you know, before the Second World War, if you had an infection, there weren't any antibiotics to treat it. So that's why people tended to die of gangrene and blood poisoning. Since we've had antibiotics, people don't die of those uh, problems because we've got effective ways of treating it. The problem with this new drug is that we don't really have effective antibiotics and it may take up to 10 years to really develop these type of antibiotics. So, as a plastic surgeon, what does it mean to me? What does it mean to you as patients? Well, thankfully, it shouldn't really affect us very much. The reason for this is that there are procedures are performed in very sterile conditions in laminar airflow theatres and you're very unlikely to catch the, the, this particular bug um, unless you are very young, very old or have got an open wound which, in which case you are in, um, in contact with someone with the uh, bug because the bug can then spread to an open wound. So for plastic surgical operations really you're very safe, you're extremely unlikely to get the uh, superbug but you know, I would be aware, you know, be very, very careful about uh, considering surgery, uh, particularly in the Indian subcontinent where the bug is much more uh, widespread. So for plastic surgery and other um, uh, surgical operations, very unlikely to get it. Who is at risk? Well, the people at risk are, again, people are immunocompromised, people who have got other uh, uh, illnesses, the very young, so children and the very old. So the worry is for these people that do have uh, these uh, immunocompromised um, immune systems, they may be susceptible to the bug and the problem is that we do not have an effective treatment for the bug um, you know, once it does take effect. So um, I just really wanted to make this video just to reassure you that if you are considering plastic surgery, really not to worry too much, but you know, be very aware um, if you come into contact with anyone from the Indian subcontinent, 
you know, and, and as always, particularly medical professionals or anyone in contact with patients must be really, really aware of cleanliness, cleaning hands, disinfecting, and all the normal precautions we take. So I hope this uh, information video has been useful. If you are worried about the bug, um, you know, then please get in contact with us. Um, we can reassure you and discuss the implications with you. And you can get in contact with us either by emailing us at info, I-N-F-O, at aurora-clinics.co.uk or phone us on 01844 214 362. Thanks for watching.